Like mm-hmm. when you're colorblind, you're just like going to the to the White House to the to Washington. You're like, I right, up next we're coming up to the house. And for lunch we're getting lobster. And welcome to specifically <laughs> the boys. Uh, a podcast. A podcast. Are all of our podcasts going to start now like those shows that have like the 30 second segment before the theme song plays? That's just completely, the cold open that's completely unrelated to the rest of the podcast episode. Yes, theme song. <laughs> <laughs> You thought this was going to be the regular theme song? (laughs) No fucking way. Just imagine our podcast gets progressively more and more just a sitcom. Every episode. Yeah, oh, I'm not convinced that my life isn't a sitcom. I mean, you do work at that place you work. My forehead and eyebrows look very weird right now. My room looks weird right now. Just kidding. It's because it's pink. Because pink is weird. Derek confirmed pink, pink is, is weird. Pink is better than... I don't even... Rem- I can't, legitimately can't ever remember the name of that group that you made with Ben. Oh, Coalition. Oh, yeah, that's it. I can't remember it because it's a stupid name. Anyways, enough about that. You're a stupid name. And speaking of terrible comebacks, there was a presidential (laughs) debate last night as of recording this. That's not true. It was last night. No, it wasn't. What day is it? it? It was Tuesday. Yeah. Holy shit, what happened yesterday? Wednesday. You know, you could cut this part out of the podcast. God. All the days of flirt together and trying to get stuff done. I sure won't get get rid of this, by the way. Please do. It's so funny that you were just like, <laughs> it's least, please. You're <laughs> so confident that it was yesterday. That you could... Can... Yeah. It still feels like it was yesterday because it it's just... It certainly doesn't. Then I go, then again, everything feels like yesterday in some cases. It's just so recently terrible that it's fresh in the brain. Yeah. So, let's talk about the debate. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what side of the political spectrum you fall on. It was bad. Like, it wasn't good. It was like, it was almost as if... You know how I kind of accidentally interrupt and talk completely over you because my audio gets weird when you talk and I talk at the same time? It's like that was happening, but in real life, and President Trump just couldn't hear the com- the moderator. I was, oh my god, it was just... Ugh. Imagine not being able to condone white supremacy because you just can't. Imagine the thought process of someone saying to you, hey, you barely paid taxes, and your response is, oh yeah, well your son's addicted to drugs. (laughs) Like, Imagine, Imagine someone saying, you don't pay taxes, and your response is, I have the best uh, relationship with the law enforcement. Yeah. And your response is, well, at least the media doesn't think... I'm crazy. <laughs> it's it's crazy that Joe Biden, the one thing he definitely got right, is he's just like, no, I have another son. And then Trump is just like, I don't know about that, son. <laughs> as if as if Joe Biden and his endless wisdom just has the ability to make <laughs> up a son. Joe Biden has so many sons that nobody knows about. <laughs> Yeah, he's just like, no, I'm talking about Bo Biden, and then Trump literally said, I only know about Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if he just 
just said, I don't know about your fucking kids. <laughs> it's not my fucking life, dude. Like, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> right. Dude, I just wanted Trump at the end of that to say LOL, and then I would have been like, oh, fuck, now I have to vote for him. He just says at the end, BTW, LOL, JK. Trump's just like, you have two minutes, he's just like, LMAO, I I resolve my time to the chair. And like Joe Biden's just like, I think I have to drop out now. I'm waiting for the last debate where he just goes, Psych! There's a camera here. There's a camera here. There's a camera here. You're on punked. All of America has been for the past four years. <laughs> Trump is just an Andy Kaufman character. And then he still gets voted president in November. Well, that's a good goof, and America likes a good goof. Hey. <laughs> what are what are some famous good goofs that America has liked over the years? The Impractical Jokers, they're a good goof. That's a good goof. And all of America simultaneously likes, and according to their TV show, has no idea who they are. The Big Bang Theory, that's a goof. Is that a goof on purpose, though, or is that a goof to television? Mitch McConnell, he's a goof. He's a fool. In a bad way. More like he's a doof, am I right? He's a man. He, a doof? Phineas and Ferb. You know, Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you know, a uh, doof backwards is food. There's no fucking way. And, and thus ends the did you know portion of specifically devoid. There's no fucking way. Yeah, Matt Pat told me and everything. Oh shit, hold on, I get a call. I'll put it on speaker. Yo! No, that's not gonna work. That was a terrible idea. <laughs> I was gonna call you and say, did you know that doof backwards is food? <laughs> Instead, I just created a feedback loop. Yeah. Which, which is painful for everyone. And feedback, spelled backwards, is. Cat. Also food. <laughs> <laughs> Feedback spelled backwards is actually who won the debate. Ah. Uh, you know who won the debate? Not the moderator, because, like, holy fuck. Kamala Harris won that debate by not having to be there. But doesn't Mike Pence also win that debate? Or does he lose life because he's Mike Pence? <laughs> He loses life because he's Mike Pence. Do you still think that he's going to need the permission slip signed by his wife to participate in the vice presidential debate? His wife's going to put like a shot collar on him to make sure he doesn't do any funny business while during while in the debate. You're just going to see they're going to pan to like, and Mrs. Pence is here and she's sitting like. Mm. That's, <laughs> and, that's the second lady. And Mike Pence goes. And this wonderful woman over here, Kamala Harris, you can see, I mean, this bad woman that I don't like at all, Kamala Harris. He's just not allowed to look at her. <laughs> yeah, he's not allowed to acknowledge her. It's just like Jake Tapper, and he's just like, Jake, who are you talking to? Because right there is a ghost. I want Kamala Harris to start doing the Joe Biden thing where she's like, we'll see you during our time with Obama. He was trying to say during that whole debate, he was like trying not to throw Obama under the bus and say like, it's, I wasn't president. It was the meme of the, the, the kid with like the strained veins. It's like Joe Biden trying not to talk about Obama for five minutes during the debate. I think the presidential election should be decided through a series of games like the Olympics. But it's like but it's like instead of games it's like tasks related to presidential duties. And everyone who participates gets like a gold medal in the task if they win. And the person with the most gold medals becomes president. So does that mean the primaries you have to do th you have to compete you have to do tasks that that candidate yeah. that like candidates have to do. You know, 
you know the you know the NFL combine. <laughs> it's just that it's completely like no changes, just the combine. I would love to see Joe Biden's fucking 40-yard dash just to see how fucking fast he was running. Fucking Pete Buttigieg being able to, like, fucking lift the bar. See, I want to show off my new lights for a second because it also means I now can perfectly set the mood. Like, if Micah says something dark and mysterious. Spooky. But then if it's like, no, it's okay, it's a sunny day out. Oh, why is that green? I pressed the yellow button. Well, we have the same one. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even worry about it, I, dude. I pressed the pink button to get pink, and it's blue? Yeah. Just completely. Where's the actual yellow? I want actual yellow. This is uh, riveting. Wanna... This is riveting audio content. Yes, but back to... There we go. Anyway, so, this is a segment for audio listeners I like to call, Ah! 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 Tune in next week for another edition of Ah! And tune in next month for Buh! Um... We didn't talk about this. We're going to have to talk about but after the podcast. Yeah, we're going to I we're gonna that. have to have a whole meeting. I thought we talked. Dude, we talked about it. We, okay. <laughs> I'm, See, not I'm not getting into it now. I'm not getting into it. I'm not. Keep that side, but I didn't talk about it. I'm not it. getting into it, dude. I'm not, we're not getting into this again, okay? All right. Fine. We'll do book. Okay. <laughs> All right. I guess we are getting into this. What the fuck? Why can't we just do book? I'm at school. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I graduated. I know the alphabet. I fucking swear. <laughs> Listen, I didn't get an English degree, okay? I don't have any degrees. One of my majors is four random letters. And they're not the same. No. One's M, one's U, one's S, and one's Ick. Well, one is also E. That's what I was thought you were talking about. <laughs> See, I call that the bait and switch. When who's bait? Who's baiting? And then I do another. Who's baiting? Baiting? Yeah. Ruth Baiting. Oh God, no. One, that's <laughs> bad, and two, that's <laughs> that's a segue. First of all, we talked about. Did we talk about her dying? No. Didn't it happen during, not the last game show, but the one before? I thought that was Chadwick Boseman died. Oh, it was. You're right. A lot of people just die when we're doing stuff. Yeah. We're so popular. Yeah. People are, no. People are dying to watch us. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. This is the last (laughs) installment of Specifically (laughs) Before. I should leave. (laughs) Now that he's back. You guys want to see some real shit in here? Oh, you're back. They were mercilessly making fun of me in the living room, so I came back. You were gone for like two seconds. That's why it was merciless. It's really hard being gay in this apartment. The joke is that it's not. I'm going to call BS on that. And that Hello, <laughs> BS? <laughs> hi. Hi, BS? Yeah, someone's lying to me. Yeah, I'm getting lied to. Wait, you're gay? I am a member of the gay community. <laughs> Fucking gay. Fucking snowflake. Hey, just because I'm from Vermont doesn't mean you get to call me a snowflake. That was Derek's high school mascot. The fuck, the, fuck <laughs> <laughs> the BUHS snowflakes. The fucking That's snowflakes. So funny. The fucking snowflakes. The snowflakes. Their fucking their mascot, uh, coincidentally, Rachel Maddow. <laughs> <laughs> Except our school uh, didn't take over the theater department. 
wrong wrong person. That was Elizabeth wrong. Warren. That was. It was it was going to be Elizabeth Warren on Rachel Maddow's show in Westfield. I in, went there in in town. We go to school. Town redacted. In this town, it's redacted. I think I'm going to start putting the podcast as voice work on on uh, resumes. I mean, I do. I'm going to I want to say voice work for a voice work for a multi podcast YouTube channel conglomerate. Multimedia. A multimedia multifaceted conglomerate. A multimedia uh, project of sorts. Yes. Talents coming up with combined names of movies. Special skills. I know the prices of a lot of weird shit, my guy. (laughs) Special skills. Bad at predicting wrestling. Special skills. I'm funny when it comes to the people I know. (laughs) Want to see some tax? No. Oh, well, I've got some tax here for you. For audio listeners, it's a box. It sounds kind of like this. And it's full of tax. Video listeners, disregard what you just heard. Yeah. Video listeners, um, don't fucking tell the audio well, listeners a word. Video watchers, we should say, because... <laughs> yeah? Huh? Did you say something? No one said something. Oh. Sounds about right. So- sounds like us. Sounds exactly like us. Sounds exactly like us. What does blue do? Oh. Dabu dee dabu die da dabu dee dabu die dabu dee dabu die. It's DIY two time. Check out on specifically Devoid's five minute craft channel where we figure out what Derek's <laughs> thing does. <laughs> Five minute devoid. Now it's very blue. I'm going to make it the max of all three colors at the same time. Oh, you know what? You know what happened, Derek? What happened, Micah? Steve from Minecraft. Steve from Minecraft was announced for Super Smash Brothers. Well, technically it is Steve and Alex and Enderman and a zombie. So now you can play Smash as a guy named Steve. This wasn't even in the 3DS version, Micah. Whoa. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't have the technology for someone named Steve yet. They did for Alex, but they were just being lazy. Yeah. And they've they've planned to have zombie in since the Nintendo 64, but never got around to it. <laughs> they Gosh. In Melee, they were supposed to have the uh, the me brawler, but they decided not to and went with the more optional choice of Pikachu. <laughs> God. Can I tell you about annoying ass people that go to school here uh i mean go for it you're the one who who still goes there that's true so i live in the apartment complexes which is just basically three tall buildings with a bunch of apartments in them in a c-shape and then the o is filled out by a residential hall that currently is all first years And the apartments are all, like, juniors and seniors. So, all automatically, the vibe is off. You can tell. It is not there. It is not correct. I am sitting in my living room trying to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Like any white person. 
like any person would do at a time like this, in any such way, a crisis. Any white person. Uh, Avery was there. Uh, I'm not convinced Avery's not white. <laughs> okay. And, uh, <laughs> I all of a sudden heard, like, woo, 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 and I look outside, and I'm like, oh, shit, is that the cops already? No, there's no one there. And then I hear it again, and it's some people on their fucking bullhorn or, like, karaoke machine or something blasting it out of the window. And all of a sudden, I heard a bunch of talking through, like, a microphone or a megaphone. And then I hear them singing a rendition of the national anthem that would make Fergie proud. (laughs) And then, because we live in New England, they started singing Sweet Caroline, followed by shipping out to Boston. I don't even think a sports game was on last night. This was just happening. <laughs> it's that song where it's like, and I'm proud to be an American. Like, tonight's supposed to be the night where people are thirsty for water. Not every night. But I have seen people walking around without masks. I have not left my apartment unless I've needed to for class or to get mail or groceries. I am staying safe to everyone who cares. Uh, And I am well at school, officially. How, how, what's your COVID-19 update, Micah? It's still here. It sure is. There's a book about it. Do you see that in the group chat? Yes. The book about somebody falling in love with like the personification. Anthropomorphized, that's the word. Anthropomorphized version of <laughs> coronavirus. Do you think the coronavirus speaks in a rhythm? <laughs> <laughs> it just like it naturally talks in like iambic pentameter or something like that. Now, it probably does something dumb, like talks in pig Latin. Hey, I used to be fluent in pig Latin. Huh. Because I was a, I was a strange child who got bullied in elementary school. Yeah. And he's not so strange So why wouldn't now. I know pig Latin? I did not hear that last part. Imagine getting bullied and you're the you're the fucking snowflakes and you're the one getting bullied. <laughs> Gosh. Imagine getting bullied. I would never. <laughs> I actually I'm a I'm a reverse sob story. I was super skinny in elementary school and then I got really fat. And now I like myself. I'm a reverse sob story. It used to, the story should be I was fat and then I grew muscles and now I have muscles. You know? Yeah. Holler if you hear me. Holler. Holler. So, play any good video games lately, Micah? No, have you? I have. There's this great video game called Among Us that I've been playing. It's, uh, I'm sure people have heard of it, but if you haven't, it's kind of like that game Werewolf you'd play as a kid, but, like, on a phone, and you have to do things, and everyone's a little bean. And they're... There's a bunch of people. It's really fun. We've played with improv a few times. We've played with just friends. It's a lot of fun. You should try it sometime, Micah. Technical difficulties. Except you have frozen for me. Sorry, everyone. My computer died. I'm not cutting that. Sorry. (laughs) Okay. Uh... It's funny, because my computer actually died during the last game show we did. 
And then there was the part where I made Sam play for me. Yeah. And I think I got, like, the most amount of points for that specific thing out of everyone, and I wasn't there for it. I have no idea. I think that this is where we should wrap up. Yes. Yo. What's up? What's up, my guy? And thanks for watching. Specifically to Void. Make sure to tune in for more content. We hope.